Good morning. So in the last video, we uh, pulled the motor from the NSX. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be uh, doing the timing belt water pump and probably just showing the valve adjustment and changing the spark plugs and stuff. I have a bunch of other work to do to this, but I'm not going to show it all because I need to actually get to work. So if you didn't see the last part of the video, I'll leave a link in the description and in the top right, and you can see how we pulled this from the car. But here's a look at all the freaking parts that we need to put into this thing. Spark plugs, thermostat, belts, air filter, oil pan gasket, valve cover gasket. This is the water pump. It actually comes with a new timing cover for uh, the weep hole. And this is a box full of coolant hoses. So we're changing all of the coolant hoses in this car. It's pretty crazy. And one of the main reasons for pulling the engine is to change these things. These are the camshaft plugs. And these are notorious for leaking. They're located on the back of the valve covers. And all of the cam holders need to be raised so that uh, you can get these out and get the new ones in. So it's one of the big reasons we pulled the motor. Time this thing, you line this white mark up with these, and you make sure that number one is right there, and then there's a mark right there on the other cam, and then on the uh, other bank here, you got this line, and then there's another mark right there. 
mark there. Line here. They should line up with each other. As you can see, this I mean with the motor out, this is extremely easy to get all these covers off. Here is our pile of parts so far. So if you see this stuff here, this is normal. I see this all the time on these NSXs. I don't know what this stuff is, but it's part of like some kind of cam sensor unit. And it just, I don't know, it melts over time and it leaks out like this. I don't, I don't think it's anything to worry about. Everything works just fine. What I'm going to do now is drain the block through the sides so that less coolant spills out and I'm going to work on taking this belt off and water pump off.
got these cams uh, taken apart, disassembled. The uh, front cam seals that go here are actually not in the box, so I just have to order those. But the reason you have to go this far is because in order to install these, these actually need to be moved forward, and then the cam needs to slide. Oops. Nice. This is what happens when you try and do this with one hand. Cam needs to be slid forward. There you go. And then, see how that sits inside right there? That's why you have to go this far, removing the cam, to install these. And trying to do uh, all of this while the motor's still in the car is very difficult. So now I got these O-rings all oiled up. They're installed. I'm waiting on these cam seals. As soon as those get here, I'm just gonna lift this slightly, slide it on, and then I'll uh, put all of those uh, cam caps back on, put the cam gears back on. While I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna disassemble this side, have it disassembled, and then I'll, uh, I'll change the water pump. Cam seals came in, so I set the correct depth in this way on both of them. I cleaned off all these surfaces and we're gonna apply a new Honda Bond onto the cam caps. One thing to keep in mind, this dowel pin comes off. This dowel pin needs to get put right there. So if you do that, make sure that goes back right there.
Yeah, this side's now reassembled. As you saw, I used uh, the old timing belt and a screwdriver, and I created my own little gear jammer. Uh, they sell actual gear jammers. If you have one of those, you could use that. But I don't have one of those, so I just use the old timing belt. But uh, these all torque to 16 foot pounds. These little guys tor torque to seven foot pounds. Here are our new cam plugs. Looks good. So I'm gonna do the other side. It's the same exact process. These are uh, torqued to 51 foot-pounds, 51 foot-pounds, and I should have shown this while these gears were off, but behind on this cover, there's a little notch that these lines line up with, as well as line up with each other. There, you can kind of see it right there, back there. So I got all that lined up, so everything's in time. Should just be able to route this belt on, no problem.
right guys, well, that's gonna do it for this video. That's how you do the timing belt water pump service, as well as change these cam plugs and do these front cam seals. Uh, I'm gonna just continue doing the regular, or the work that I have sold for this car. I'm probably not gonna be able to film and explain because I'm on the clock here and I gotta, I gotta knock this out. Uh, if anything, I'll probably just get some time lapses of me working so you can stick around and watch that. But like always, thanks for watching.